Good morning everyone. So what I'm going to do is get ready with y'all or for y'all. I'm going to do my makeup video. I've attempted to do some makeup videos before. Um, it was for practice, let's just say. So this is the official, official makeup video. And hi, by the way, my name is Elizabeth, but you may call me Ella, short for Elizabeth. Um, so as we know, winter is coming or winter is already here. Basically last night or this morning, I don't know, somewhere in between, um, wind started blowing and we went outside and we were like, whoa, it's freezing. So yeah. So that happened. So um, one of the things that I like to use to clean my face because, you know, it's it's such a great product. I really do love it. Um, it's the Mary Kay. Um, the set that you wash your face with. And then once I do that, you know, part of that set is this moisturizing cream. Now, you, there's a day solution and a night solution. Um, the night solution is mainly used like before you go to bed. You wash your face, clean it, and then right before you lay down to get into your bed, you put that one on, and then you go straight to bed, like to sleep. And then the daytime solution is, it has like SPF, like sunblock protectant as well. And um, there's also this age fighting moisturizer. It's a hydrant. So I I really like to put this on before I put on what is called the foundation primer, which is also sunscreen. It's SPF 15 um, broad spectrum. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you my routine. So it's going to be, you know, first I wash my face and then it's the moisturizer, the TimeWise moisturizer. Um, especially like right now in the cold weather, like for me personally, I get very um, dry skin around my face in some areas, like especially right here and then some areas around here and that's I don't know like over the years that has changed because I was never like this but I've noticed that um getting older um things change so I don't know I mean I try to drink a lot of water at least I think I try because I also exercise so I have to keep hydrated um but maybe I'm just not drinking enough I don't know. So, yeah. So that was the moisturizer cream. And then the next thing I put on is this um, foundation primer. So it basically goes on before, before the, you put on foundation, obviously. And this, the reason you're applying this before your foundation is to protect your skin. It's kind of like a seal so that the makeup won't get directly onto your skin but you know it's not only just a protectant it also like makes your skin look and feel soft and smooth i really love this product um it kind of like also hides your pores if you have pores it's really good for hiding pores and I have pores and oh my gosh, let me tell you, I dislike my pores around this area right here on my cheeks and you can tell and also over here, like when I'm running and sweating, they open up big time, but of course I'm not wearing makeup when I'm exercising, but um, they, they're enhanced, you know, cause I guess I'm sweating and I'm hot and my body temperature is just hot. So this, if I could tell you, um, it feels really soft on the skin. Not only that, it protects your skin from the foundation. But of course, with uh, Mary Kay products, your foundation uh, from Mary Kay 
has like age fighting as well so i believe so um i can double check for you so one of the things so now that i'm done putting on the foundation primer one of the foundations that and actually i have a foundation here it says combination to oily skin so that's what it was uh, some of the foundations have like to dry skin or combination to oily skin that's what it was it wasn't like anything about age protectant or anything like that um but this one is matte wear liquid foundation but the one i like to use well, that I'm using right now is called the CC Cream. And this one has sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF 15, which is this tube right here. And sorry. So let's go ahead and put this one or apply it. And it might look a little lighter. I'm sure I got like the darker side of the um foundation or the cc cream but you know it's not that i'm trying to look white or anything skin wise i probably just got the wrong one but usually i blend it in um like if it seems too light like if the foundation like this one you can tell it seems just a bit too light what i'll do is i'll um grab like um what we call a darker foundation so i think this one is darker let me check let me just yeah it is and so what i do is i just mix some because sometimes like me like my skin tone it see that matches better is sometimes in between foundation colors like they don't match like it's either too light or too dark and so what I do is when I get there, like right to the one that's too dark and too light, I just mix them. And it creates a great color, like a matching color for me. Okay, so I'm trying to get this lighting right. Let me just put this foundation up here. right now let's see okay. okay so i know the light is now better sorry about that um so now the next thing i do after i apply the foundations i usually go in with a um, Mary Kay has a like cream to powder if not I'll just use like a darker um, like a highlighting pen um, or a darker foundation to kind of contour the areas but because I don't have that on me now I will just um, use what I have in front of me that's Mary Kay um oh I actually do have something actually I forgot but I do have the Mary Kay translucent powder and the Mary Kay um the what is it the mineral powder foundation which I can use as contouring as well uh so also my lips as you can see like they get dry like just my face has just been getting dry and breaking out but if you keep a um maintaining of the cleansing it will definitely work i haven't done it i just did it barely today but um i will continue to keep it on routine um so yeah so today's like my first day starting with my cleaning my face with mary Kay, because i i used to be um with mary Kay before and then i kind of stopped but i am getting back to it just because like i loved my skin um their products are so so um they just 
they feel good. And one of the other things that I like to do is this scrub, this lip scrub, like for winter. And like right now, usually I'll just use this. So I apply this just to kind of heal my lips a little bit. So when I'm done doing my makeup, like the rest of the makeup on my face, I'll just go in, um, remove it, and then I can put on my lipstick. So it won't look so dry. There you go. So I won't look so dry. So the translucent powder and the mineral powder foundation is what I'm going to use right now. And let me see here. So I'm going to use a random brush that I have. And I'm just going to set some powder like right underneath my eye some got on my nose sorry and I know some people or girls or guys like to use like right there in the T area it's a lot of powder mm. and then the, the next thing I would like to do is the um kind of like the contouring um, but the, the mineral powder isn't that, um, deep in color, but I will go ahead and do this. It's quite light, which I actually like that because it's not too, too dark. Um, I guess this side looks better just because of the lighting and I apologize. I will try to get better lighting next time. And then, so once I do that, I mean, the next thing, um, I'm not done contouring. What am I talking about? Just put a little bit. And again, a little bit does go a long way. Like, you don't need to be putting on, like, a lot. Oh, like, a lot. A lot. Um, I was supposed to tap it before I put it on there. Okay. So now, um... I'll put these up and then wow right like I'm using black and then on top of that my black sweater hoodie sweater thing so now I'm just gonna blend and there we go oh and then of course the stuff that I put on here. Ah, oh, the light. I'm so sorry, you guys. There, it's probably like you're taking my. It's the light is actually my desktop that's helping me right now. And so we just remove the excess of the translucent powder. Okay. So now that I'm done with that part of the makeup tutorial. Um, I love using blush. Like, I remember growing up when I was younger, I was like, no, I, I don't like to wear blush. It was just not my thing. I don't know. But then a couple years forward, I meet Mary Kay makeup and, um, I actually like it. Some of the colors are very pretty as far as the blush. They have like little shimmer in them, but very, very um, conservative. And so like, oh, I just did that. Oh, that's so pretty. And I just put a little bit, not so much. And then... One of the other things that Mary Kay has is the eye primer. So this is like before you put on your eyeshadow. It kind of helps it stay on there. So the I guess the color can pop out and then not only that, so it can stay longer. Like the wear of the eyeshadow. But me putting it applying it with this finger and there 
turn to the other side. And then I guess depending on like how much eyeshadow you want to put, you can go all the way underneath your eyebrow, the corners, if you use eyeshadow in the corners. Sometimes in the corners, I've seen some makeup girls put some like a little bit of the shimmer shimmer. It looks nice. It looks cute. It looks pretty. Being honest. Um... When they, you know, they know how to, like, do their makeup that advanced. So, once I do that, um, the next thing I'm going to do is apply some eyeshadow. Now, eyeshadow can be applied... There's a certain way, I think, I believe, that you can apply eyeshadow. I'm not an expert at eyeshadow, but for you guys, I will try in this video to apply eyeshadow. And I'll probably be using the same um, brush for this. Because honestly, like I said, I'm just, I don't know. I'm not an expert on the eyeshadow part. I'm an expert on the eyeliner part. But not so much in the eyeshadow. So the only eyeshadows that I have here that are from Mary Kay are, um, along with the um, blush, and you know what? Let me show you or tell you before we continue the blush, what it's called, in case you're wondering. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's like this shimmery. You maybe cannot tell on camera, but it's really pretty. Um, it's called Strawberry Cream. So if you want to get that, look for a beauty consultant in your area. And then ask them about that color because it's it's a pretty color. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go in with a like brown color. It's really pretty, really really pretty. I'm gonna use my highlighter pen just because I wanna highlight that part a little bit. Let's see here. And then I want to show you, you guys, um, this really good Mary Kay product that when it came out, I was like, oh my goodness. I think too much came out. Okay, so this product is called the Oil Mattifier. I don't know if y'all have heard of it, but there were, used to be like some papers, like little paperlets that you would like take the little paper. And if you were sweating or your face was too oily, all you had to do was just pat the little paper on there and the oil would like transfer onto the paper well this is actually a kind of like a cream when you apply like when you put it on your ear like fingers and stuff to apply it it's wet but once you apply it onto your face it'll like dry up um or feel like uh how could i say it like a mat like your skin oils will just disappear basically okay let me see just bear with me okay guys so i had just had to go get some like paper napkins to wipe my fingers off okay so i'm dabbing the brush <laughs> i'll be honest with you i am not a shadow person like to put eyeshadow like it's I probably need to take some classes for it. If I want to be like some kind of pro. See, like that, like, I don't know what I'm doing. But I will try over here. 
different technique. See, this one looks way better. Okay. Yeah. We'll just try that technique on this thing. And it's basically just on the crease, on the outer crease of the eye. And you just go back and forth, back and forth. See, I learned something new today. <laughs> Okay, that, well, I would say that's it for me, but I'm going to try this other eyeshadow. It's like a pinkish, pinkish, brownish, pink and brown, I don't know, um, but I really like pink. Pink is very pretty, I think. Pink is very, very pretty. And it kind of blends in well. Uh, I like it. <laughs> okay, you guys. So that's it. As far as that, I am going to curl my eyelashes and put some mascara on and do my eyeliner, my eyebrows, and I will be back. Hi, guys. I'm back. I did my eyebrows. I put some eyeliner. I curl my eyelashes. I don't know if you can tell. Just a little bit. Sometimes I do put on um, fake. Sorry. Sometimes I do put on fake eyelashes, um, just to be a little bit more dramatic. <laughs> so um, I also changed my top. As you can see, it's like this really cute sweater, kind of knit knitted sweater kind of thing. Um, one of the things I did want to tell you and show you um, that I do with my eyeliner um, stuff is I use this um, eyeliner by Mary Kay. Uh, what I really like about this one, so it's, it twists, it goes out, but when it becomes flat like that, um, one of the things that the top has is a little sharpener how cute is that as a little sharpener and you could just like stick it in there and just twirl it and sharpen it <laughs> um and yeah so i kind of got my fingers messy there um so i wanted to show you that but not just that in itself i also wanted to show you one of the things that i do with this eyeliner Besides using it up there, um, I really love it. I also do it under the waterline, that part right there, because sometimes when I do put on like fake eyelashes and stuff, um, or just, you know, do the top eyeliner and then like it looks weird, um, I go in and then I just do that. Now, I don't know if you can tell the difference on camera, but... You see, like, I think you can um, maybe see how it looks, the difference. And then I just, not on the outside only, like, I go all the way and do it all the way to the corner. Like that. And it, it does give the eye, like, a different appearance by just a little bit, but that's all you need. It's just a little bit, right? So I'll be honest with you guys. Um, this video that I made with the Mary Kay makeup is because, I don't know, it's like my my thing where I decided to join Mary Kay um, and sell it. And the reason I am doing this um, is because, well, I love their products. I love that their products are very, um, like, you know, they help your skin aside from just it being makeup. It helps your skin. Um, you don't like something, you can return it and get a refund or just exchange it for something else. You know, um, from the skincare line to the makeup line, I think this company is just beautiful. 
Aside from my Mary Kay, of course, I um, did also become a strong by Zumba instructor because I love to keep active and not just that, like also interacting with other people, other people in regards to the subject of makeup, in regards to the subject of being healthier. Um, and it all, to me, has a lot to do with mental awareness. As a mother of four, um, you know, you do hear those things of postpartum depression, anxiety, and we, we do go as, you know, parents, um, because I don't think just females are the only ones that are parents. I mean, males are parents as well. But we all go through this stuff, right? Like we're, we're all in this world called life and we're all going through it. And um, my idea of this world is I would love for everyone to be much more kinder to everyone. Um, not just certain people and not just the people who are unkind to you or me. But be kind and show people that, you know, um, we don't have to be rude or mean and whatever, <laughs> those type of things. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And if there's anything, like any questions like, oh, or like tips and tricks of makeup as far as like that. I'm just restoring the light. As far as like this, like under the eye. Yeah, um, that I just... I did it. Oh, why did I do it? I don't know. I just started doing that. But there's another one that I really like. And this one I got, I believe, from Tyra Banks, the model. One day um, she was in a talk show. And I think it was her. I'm not sure. Um, and she was like, oh, all you have to do is just put like white or lighter eyeliner right here on your waterline but the bottom one and it'll make a huge difference and it really does that's another thing i like to use just to enhance like my makeup look all right you guys so again thank you so much for watching i will put down the link to the um, mary Kay website if you would like to check out the catalog or purchase anything um if you want to purchase something and then you want to arrange something you can email me also also aside from Mary Kay <laughs> now I don't I don't it's not that I want to mix the two or anything it's just I also became a sensei consultant just because oh my gosh I love candles I love beautiful candle scents um and really it's I mean I don't know it's just I love I love it when like the room, the atmosphere just smells lovely and it just it makes everything feel more comfortable. Again, going back to the part of like when you feel anxiety or you're just feeling a little bit stressed. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, shoot me an email. No, send me an email. Don't shoot me. Um, and I can try to answer whatever I can about this stuff. Um, if not, I will figure it out for you. Okay? Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.